Google has just released Gemma 3. So Gemma 3 model is the latest release in the Gemma family. So Gemma 3 is actually open models. They are lightweight, state of the art. And they are from the same research that powers Gemini 2.0 models. You have four sizes, 1 billion parameters, 4 billion parameters, 12 billion and 27 billion parameter models. 1 billion parameter is text only, 4 billion, 12 billion and 27 billion parameter models are multi-model. Now, Gemma 3 delivers state of art performance for its size outperforming Llama 405 billion parameter model, DeepSeq V3 and O3 Mini in preliminary human preference evaluations on LM Arena's leaderboard. It is uh, multilingual, it supports close to 140 languages, it has pre-trained uh, support. Out of the box, Gemma 3 offers support for over 35 languages. It is multi-model, so it can analyze text, short videos, images, so you can build uh, interactive and uh, intelligent applications. It has a token context window of 128k tokens. So it can understand vast amount of information. It supports function calling and structured output. So you can uh, automate tasks and build agentic experiences. Gemma 3 introduces official quantized versions, so which reduces model size and computation requirements. So here they have a graph of the chatbot uh, Arena LO score. And if you look at Gemma 3, it scores 1338, lesser than DeepSeek R1, but this is a 27 billion parameter model and this is a 671 billion parameter model. Okay. So the dots are uh, NVIDIA H100s required to deploy this model. Um, so this particular model, Gemma 3 27 billion parameter model ranks highly requiring only a single GPU to, despite others needing up to 32. Okay, single NVIDIA H100 GPU is enough to run Gemma 3 27 billion parameter model. Okay, and this model is already available in Hugging Face Transformers. It's available on Google AI Edge, Google AI Studio, Olama, Kaggle. So you can go to these different places and you can try out this particular model. Um, so I am trying it out on the Google AI Studio. So what did I do over here with uh, Gemma 3 27 billion parameter model? I tried it to create a Python game. Right. I just gave a single prompt create a python snake game. It actually created a python snake game which when I ran, right, it created this game which you can see over here. Uh, so let me play again. So I can, you know, play this snake game. And this was single shot prompt. Okay. So it created the single shot prompt python snake game. Uh, it said how to deploy this game. Okay. It explained what is this particular game as well. So let us look into some other use case which I tried. I tried a reasoning problem. The famous uh, trolley problem. I tried a version of that saying that there are five people tied to a railway track. There is another railway track with a cow tied to the track. There is a wagon hurtling down at great speed. You have control of the lever to switch tracks. What will you do? So this is a, it says this is a classic variation of trolley problem, famous ethical dilemma. So it does some considerations. If I do nothing, five people will be dead because it will go in that track. If I pull the lever, it will kill the cow. So my response is I would pull the lever, delivering the wagon to uh, save the five people, even though it's result, it results in the death of the cow. So it gives a reasoning saying that human value, uh, human life is more uh, valued than an animal's life based on the util uh, utilitarian ethical framework. Okay. So it says this is an ethical problem. There is no right answer. Right. Um, so if you look at their uh, blog where they explain more about um, this particular model. Uh, so what they say over here is that, you know, this model, how they have done is that for post training. So what they're saying over here is they have uh, pre-trained it over 2 trillion tokens for the 1 billion parameter model, 4 trillion tokens for 4 billion parameter model, 12 trillion tokens for 12 billion parameter model and 14 trillion tokens for 27 billion parameter. Okay, so that is how much they were trained on uh, multilingual support. It introduces a new tokenizer. Okay, the Gemma's pre-training and post-training process using a combination of distillation, reinforcement learning and model merging. So they have done that. So for post-training, it uses four components. Distillation from a larger instruct model into the Gemma 3 pre-trained checkpoints. Then reinforcement learning from human feedback to align model predictions with human preferences. Reinforcement learning from machine feedback to enhance mathematical reasoning. Reinforcement learning from execution feedback to improve coding capabilities. So because of this four components, this model, you know, performs uh, improve or the performance is improved significantly and it performs well on math, coding and instruction following capabilities, making it the top open compact model in LM Arena with a score of 1338. Okay. So this is an interesting uh, development. And that they've used a combination of uh, distillation plus reinforcement learning. Most of the smaller models with improved performance are now going through this route of reinforcement learning uh, with from machine feedback and execution feedback, okay, like DeepSeek uh, models. So this is how they could achieve this performance, 
okay um, they have some examples of uh, multi modality over here also because google gemma3 has an integrated vision encoder based on siglip the gemma3 vision model uh, which is kept frozen during is same across different sizes so as i said the 1 billion parameter model is text only whereas 4 billion um, 12 billion and 27 billion models are multi model okay that is what they are talking about over here they have also created another model called shield gemma2 which is a 4 billion image safety classifier built on gemma3 it outputs labels across key safety categories enabling safety moderation of synthetic images which have been generated from image generation models and natural images okay so now let's go back to our uh, this thing since they said that you know this particular model is good at solving math i took a problem from the math data set okay so find x such that you know there is a ceiling of x plus x is equal to 23 by 7 express x as a common fraction so it tries to solve this problem so x be a real number we are given this equation uh, so let n is equal to x where n is an integer then n minus 1 less than x less than or equal to n so substituting n for x it tries to solve this equation okay x is equal to 23 minus uh, 23 by 7 minus n uh, since n is this thing it leads to two inequalities it does all the calculation and gives the final answer 9 by 7 which is the correct answer okay so you can go through this process right so it is good at math problem solving for math problems so if you look at their default uh, you know in the ai studio uh, you can actually select gemma 3 27 billion parameter model which is what i've done so here they have an example of create a set of math worksheet for uh, you know uh, elementary math worksheet for addition and subtraction so it goes about creating this thing sometimes this internal error has occurred i have tried it uh, you know i have tried uploading a pdf file it doesn't work there is some issue over here okay uh, then i tried another uh, 3js flight game setup this actually spectacularly failed uh, I tried with a single prompt to create a, you know, 3JS flight game. It gave me some code. I ran it. I ran into some module errors. So I put it over here. I tried multiple turns over here with the errors trying to debug it, but it was not possible. Finally, I kind of gave up. So yeah, a Python problem. It worked very well. A 3JS flight game. It doesn't really, it's not able to do it. I tried some simple logic puzzles, for example, like this, right, uh, you know, so four cups are placed upturned on the counter. Each cup has the same number of sweets and a declaration about the number of sweets in it. The declaration are five or six, seven or eight, six or seven, seven or five. Only one of the declaration is correct. How many sweets are there under each cup? Okay, so this is a logical puzzle. So understanding the problem, it gives the response saying that, uh, uh, you know, uh, let's see how to solve this logic puzzle. Understanding the problem, we have four cups, each with the same number of sweets. Each cup has a statement about the possible number of sweets. Only one of these statements is true. So basically it has to analyze and logically deduce which of the statement is true okay and finally it gives an explanation the only scenario that works if the statement is seven or eight is true so there are eight sweets under each cup so it goes about analyzing each statement so i found this response to be quite good okay so you can go over here and try different examples uh, so uh, i tried uploading pdf files and then uh, doing some kind of you know information uh, extraction from those pdf files but then it did not work it uh, constantly it kind of uh, started throwing errors Okay, so for example, uh, this PDF file, which I'm uploading over here, and if I were to ask, like, uh, you know, explain this paper. So it is still extracting the text from this PDF. It has extracted, there are close to 5,000 tokens over here. And I'm saying, explain this paper over here. So sometimes it runs up to five seconds and then it'll throw an error. This time it is running today. I don't know what was the issue. See, an internal error is occurred. I don't know why this error comes up. Whereas it is supposed to work over here. I don't know if there is some limitations in terms of tokens which I have already used. But whenever I'm trying to upload an image or uh, this thing and then try it out, um, there was an error over here. So you can also go over here and try out Gemma 3, 27 billion parameter models. Otherwise, you can go to Hugging Face. If you have a GPU, you can try it out on Hugging uh, You can use Hugging Face Transformers to try it out. You can try it out on Olama. So this is a very interesting model. Uh, probably requires more in-depth testing to see how it works. From a first testing, I really like the performance of this particular model. It's too much of an initial kind of testing. Uh, I would like to test it much more in certain other scenarios and see how it performs. But uh, this is an open weights model. So anybody can download and make use of these models in their own use cases. Hope this video is useful. See you in another video.